Jonathan. Welcome to Vanya. Thank Great you. To have you here. Nice to be here. Vanya alumna is an alumnus. I think the singular is alumnus. Alumnus. Yeah. Vanya alumnus. Welcome to Vanya. It's a pleasure to have you. You're here as part of the Humanities Symposium as a guest uh, lecturer. That's yeah. That's right. Um, how does it feel to be back at Vanya? Um, it's it's you know it's good. Uh, uh, a lot of really. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, Howard. Howard. Why are you talking? The, the DG or something? Yeah. What's wrong? He says your car is. Really Why are you talking to him? Something bad happened. Just, Howard. Just keep going. Okay. You want your book? I'll get it on the way. Okay. Fine. Why? What did, what did you do? Why are you here? I'm. I'm. I'm going to conduct this interview. I think. Oh no, you're not. No, you're. you're Listen. Why don't you understand something? I know we're friends, we've gone back a long, you know, we go back a long time, you know, we worked together on the show. This is not gonna be a cakewalk. This is gonna be a very hard hitting interview. And I'm gonna take you to task, and I, I don't you think this is gonna be an easy ride. I don't think this is the place for you to take me to task. I just wanna ask you some hard hitting questions, if that's okay. What are your hard hitting questions? When did you realize that you were so magnificent? When did you realize that you were so wonderfully oh, gifted? Oh, wow, that's, that's very sweet of you to say. Um, I mean, I don't, I think I'm a man of, you know, regular, Regular gifts, mm -hmm. who, you know, um, did yeah, his... Simple means. Simple means, yes. I feel like you're being sarcastic with me. <laughs> is this your real question? No, here's my real question. So when you started off in Vanier, and you were a creative guy, and you were writing... You're really asking questions. Yeah, I'm going to ask real questions. I'm all grown up now. This is the one thing that I wasn't prepared for. Did you ever... Did you ever think that any of it would lead in the direction of broadcasting? Or, or being a novelist, or writing for magazines, or what, what were you, th from how you were thinking about writing and being creative when you were 17, 18 in Vanier to where you are now? I thought I was going to be living in a car with cats. Cat, cats <laughs> if like, things were going well. Really, like I, I was very, I had, uh, I, I felt like if I could have some job and continue to write in the evenings, I'd be very happy. That was, that was like the, I guess the ceiling was low. So you would be doing just some job, job, jobby job, and then you, and on the sideline you'd be Yeah, writing. and that was the, the writers that I liked. Like, uh, the, they, that, that, that was the model, you know, like, like Charles Bukowski and Henry Miller and the Beats. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you, did you imagine any of that in some kind of romantic way that, that you'd actually live that kind of life, like maybe like short, short, I feel like you're Flash softening life. me up, like for the kill, <laughs> like for the big Barbara Walters. No, I, I think we should ask, the, you know, some yeah? questions for, 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 the, for the youth. Really? Okay. For the young people of Vanier. Do you know what Sejip stands for? It stands for... Uh, college. Yes. Educational. Yes. Gérant. This was the final credit that you needed. When you were going to graduate uh, Vanier, they said, for your final credit, what, what does what Sejip, Sejip stand for? I think for? it's a Gérant. Uh, exceptionnellement, uh, <laughs> papa. I think that's it. That would be two P's, papa. Oh no. Right. Um, I, 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 uh, bef I'm in New York now, and I was talking to one of my office mates, and I said I was going to be talking at uh, my alma mater, and they said, "Oh, what's that? Like trucking school or something, or like refrigeration institute?" I said, "No, it's Vanier Sejep," and they said, "What does Sejep stand for?" And I said, "I don't know," and I was hoping maybe we would find out. Dex stands for Diploma, Diploma. Uh, I love when he speaks French. <laughs> I love when he speaks French. Diploma d'études. Collège, collégial. All right. So you're going to give advice to your young self, okay? You know, okay. You that. If you're going to give advice to your young self, right, right. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking real Christmas Carol style here. I'm talking like real ghost. Like you, you project yourself into the past. Right. You're sitting at a, you're sitting at a, at a, at a, you know, in a restaurant. All of a sudden, you're, you know, you're floating above yourself, and you're directly talking to yourself to your old. Okay, I'm going to pretend that you're a young me. Yeah, I'm you. Okay. I, I'd, gr I'd grab you by the shirt collar like that and I'd be like, get your but head you out of your ass. you're a phantom. You can't really touch me. Oh, then, then You can scare me. You can. And I, no, no, yeah, but you can I do it. I just haunt myself. What would you do? So I'm, I'm, I'm your young self. I'm sitting did there. Did I grab your chest hair? It did a little bit. That's okay. Um, you're, you're, you're drinking. Yeah, there's nothing you could say. You're like boiled water and a pack of ketchup. You're making yourself some tomato soup. And go. I'm your it's dad. always the same thing. You always say, everything's going to be okay. I'm, I'm looking at my young self bald-headed with this beard saying, oh, everything's going to be okay. 
I'd be like horrified. Really? I'd kill myself. You'd be like, my, 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 my head hair has reversed itself. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I, uh, yeah, like there's nothing you could say. You could be like, hey, kid, well, everything's going to be all great. Well, what would you say to yourself? And the kid's like, okay. What would you say to yourself? <laughs> nothing. There's nothing you could say. What could you possibly, oh, I mean like in the best case scenario just, kind just, of. If it just parenthetically, I was thinking of this question last night. I thought how funny it would be if I went back in time. To and talk, you to talk, talk to you. I thought that'd be very such a good idea. We should do that. And like you're freaked out because you recognize my face. I'm all old and fat and gray. <laughs> you're like, how are you? I'm probably actually slimmer now. <laughs> <laughs> it was then. She's like, hey, you're looking good. You got a little gray, gray happening. But I thought that'd be kind of funny. I just tell you the worst thing John thinks could be really bad when you get older. <laughs> just so you know, just give up now. It's really bad. You, you're not here because you're dead. Go into accounting. <laughs> you, you're not, be you're my not accountant. here to talk to you. <laughs> I steal all your ideas. Like, like, no, okay, seriously. So you're, 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 um, you're, you're telling, giving yourself... I mean, it's always like... I Like I said, I was always so worried that I was going to like... I, I, I had a lot of anxiety about how I was going to make my way in the world. Like, I didn't understand how the adult world worked. I didn't understand how you got, like, electricity in your apartment. You know, how, how you could ever, m m like, get married. Like, how could you even meet a woman? How, could, how do these things work? They were all so mysterious. I think um, if there was some way that I could quell my own anxiety, if there was some statement that I could make along the lines of like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay. But I don't think it would work. I think I was just a worried kid and I think I'd probably find something to worry about. You'd be worried about that, that there'd be like a special that, objection of yourself in the future coming Yeah, that, and that kind of, what the hell's the future going to be like. Yeah. Um, what, would you, what would you tell yourself? I don't know. I thought about that. I had no yeah. idea. Yeah, you I'd be like, this. bow out gracefully. I don't know what to say. It's all bad. Just, just keep on. Oh God. Also, I'll come back in a few years. There's going to be saying, all kinds of new cakes and chocolate bars in the future. Yes. I think, we, like, okay, the benefit of having a very low ceiling for what we expected to achieve with the thing that we love doing was that it was like a spider spinning a web. We just did it because we did it, mm -hmm. because we liked doing it, and we made us feel good, and we shared it with our friends, and it was pure. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I hope that people could feel that way now. Because now you could share things so easily that that either can inspire uh, or, or maybe, it could, maybe it, it could take away. I'm not sure. I, I love what you said when you were talking to the crowd and you you're talking about basically, you're talking about, uh, they're talking about passion, you're like talking about structure and talking about you know, uh, like some kind of routine, but you're all saying, saying how by doing those things and by having these things that you like and, and kind of giving yourself some kind of connection, did you have a life? I thought that was really, I, I'm, not, I'm not expressing it. Oh, I don't know if I expressed it as well as that. That's I thought nice. that was very nice. It was the idea that it's like you have a stake you're in life. You're, you're, you're doing something. You're connected to it. It's like your own. It's like you yeah. it doesn't need to be given to you or you don't have to search for it. Like you're doing something you like. You, you invest yourself in it. You give yourself some kind of structure around it. It's yours. And then so there's living. There's eating, going to the bathroom, all this stuff. But you have a life. There's something that's yours. You know. That's how I took it. From what you said. Well, that's nice. I, uh, I wonder if... I don't know enough. I'm not, I don't understand enough about the world that we live in to know whether, like, I would do stuff or you would do stuff. We'd share it with, like, our, among ourselves. We'd make each other laugh. But imagine that Facebook existed and we'd put it out there and we didn't get a lot of likes, say. Would, you know what I mean? If there was that immediacy, like, we could publish that quickly and then get feedback that quickly, mm -hmm. whether that would uninspire us, you know, if people didn't like it. Or whether we would, or that would have been helpful. I don't know. God, I feel so old. I feel like I graduated here in the, in in, in the late 1880s. Uh, okay. T tell one, I'll tell one it. quick to carry hot dog story. There's the one that you, uh, where you ordered an Italian poutine on a really hot day and got food poisoning. That's right. And you faulted yourself. It was my fault. You didn't. You you never faulted them. You went back the next day. Yeah, I got an Italian. You said it was your own fault. I got a ton hot hamburger, it was a heat wave, and their fridge, their fridge was broken. And my father's a butcher, and I was watching the meat sitting, and I still got the hot hamburger, trusting well, that's that they would not give me food poison, I had a horrible You're a trusting me. soul. And that's it. <laughs> All right, great. You don't want Let's go to the carry hot dog. All right, on you. Uh, okay, fine. All right, hooray! Wiretap. <laughs>